In April 2009, Parliament passed a resolution allowing Dora West, Member of Parliament David Bahati, to submit a private member's bill. And on the 14th of August that year, he did. According to Bahati, the bill was aimed at strengthening the nation's capacity to deal with emerging internal and external threats to traditional heterosexual family. While the bill immediately generated debate, one of the clauses that caught many people's attention was that it proposed the death penalty. The bill was taken back to parliament for amendment and the clause on the death penalty was withdrawn and replaced with life imprisonment. The bill was shelved for a while in 2010 with some members of parliament that had field visits and workshops abroad saying they were intimidated and coerced to sign it. In 2011, the bill was shelved for the second time. The international community had come down hard on Uganda. In October 2012, when the Speaker of Parliament, Rebecca Kadaga, went to Canada for a parliamentary conference, pressure was asserted. She was asked why she was allowing for the passing of the anti-homosexuality bill. In her response, Kadaga showed no sympathy and upon her return, she was received with cheers by religious leaders and those against the act of homosexuality. Canada aid. They can keep it. They can yeah. keep their aid. Yeah. The bill was finally resurrected from the shelf in 2012. Kadaga promised to ensure its passing on a Christmas gift to Ugandans. This did not happen. Instead, the bill was deferred. Throughout 2013, activists and members of the gay community did what they could to persuade different lawmakers and government officials against passing the bill. Finally, it was put on the order paper and in December passed by legislators. <laughs> There was a heated debate in the House when the Prime Minister Maman Babazi raised the issue of lack of quorum. He also stated that the executive had not adequately consulted on the matter. Less than 100 legislators in the House at the time of the passing of the bill, which was less than one third of all the elected members of parliament that are needed for a bill to be passed. We were not the required number by the constitution, by our rules of procedure. We have been passing bills without him coming to complain that we don't have a quorum. We have a speaker with a backup bond. For five years, Ugandans have been waiting for. The prime minister is extremely dishonest. In fact, some other legislators headed by Fox Odoi promised to challenge this matter in courts of law. You don't take any decision to legislate when you don't have quorum. Is homosexuality something that arrived in Uganda today. The president then wrote to the Speaker of Parliament condemning the way in which the bill was passed. He said it was hurried and there was no quorum. In January this year, NRM legislators at the party caucus insisted that the president pass the bill. He in turn told them that he would invite scientists and some medics to explain whether homosexuality was a generic behavior or an adopted behavior. After consultation with the scientists, the president came to a conclusion. Then we shall have we shall have a war with the homosexual lobby in the world. But U.S. President Barack Obama was not too pleased with President Museveni's train of thought. He sounded a warning to Museveni not to sign the bill or face serious consequences. In turn. President Chairman Museven said he would not be intimidated. He further said that no one should teach him how to run his house. Everybody is lecturing us. How can you find a married man and you lecture him how to run his house? While many are pleased with today's events, others are not. Some medical personnel say the new law violates the ethical code of medical practice. If the law tells you that if you do say something about that, you are going to be, the doctor is going to run and report you, then you're going to keep quiet and then, of course, it becomes difficult for you to be protected because then the health worker doesn't, is not aware on the, on the sexual practice that you are indulging in and therefore cannot, cannot give you the information that you require. We don't believe that homosexuality is a crime or that it's something that should not be criminalised, mm -hmm. then your ethics will prevent you from revealing those issues because the role of the doctor is to be the friend, philosopher and physician of the patient. We're not going to tell people what people tell and confide in us because it will erode the confidence that people, patients have 
in, 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 you know, in, in us as doctors. Today was perhaps the gift that a section of Ugandans had been praying for. It, however, opens a new chapter in Ugandans' relations with the West, whether they will continue to support or whether they will, as promised, withdraw aid and shun the country that has come to be labelled homophobic. Maurice Ochoa, NTV.